Anna Monroy Navarro is a 44-year-old woman living in the Santa Clarita Valley. She may seem like your average local, but her journey to the States may be a little different compared to the other people. My parents brought me here when I was 11 years old. My first experiences were very challenging because I had to overcome a lot of cultural issues that were unknown to me. It was a total different life than I used to have in Mexico. When Anna graduated from San Fernando High School, she was accepted into Cal State Northridge, but due to her lack of legal status, she could not attend. That's when she decided to return to Mexico to pursue her dreams of becoming a lawyer. But when she returned, she met the love of her life. They both decided to stay in Mexico and raise their kids, but things didn't go as planned. I have to return to the U.S. because my, my husband had an accident. Things were not good over there because with the violence, extortions, and a lot of drug dealing situations that led my husband to decide to go back to the U.S. Anna applied for her residency in late 2019, but during COVID-19, the process was stopped. Not knowing if she would receive her green card or not, this caused her to have major anxiety. But after a long wait, she received her interview. But after lack of evidence of showing legal entry, she was put on temporary hold. Not knowing if she would be deported or not, she would have to wait until March of 2021. Only then did she finally receive that long-awaited approval that would change her life forever. The other thing is that I can go back to Mexico and visit my brother who have been deported and I haven't seen him for around 15 years and he got married over there and he had his family so finally I'm going to meet my my nephew for the first time. Reporting for Canyons News, this is Mark Monroy.